No, I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Get out, gospel, man. It's your boy Jericho, Hands of Stone Walton. I'm doing a personal suite with High Thoughts TV. Y'all check them out. Shout them out, man. Hands of Stone. Yeah, yeah. I was doing push-ups on some savage shit Nigga got out the pen and I grabbed a bitch Made my first hundred thousand I What up? It's your boy Jericho Hands and Stone Walton I'm the main event on uh, Force Train Promotions for Next Fight Up And um 13 and 0 7 KOs, undefeated right now And you know it's up there That's my little slogan I say uh, A little bit about my lifestyle is um I'm from New Orleans you know, New Orleans, Louisiana, or whatever. And uh, I came down here doing Hurricane Katrina. And uh, just a short little part of my story. I got locked up when I was 15 years old. I didn't get out till I was 21. Um, I got locked up for um, for avenging my father's death. And um, he was murdered by his best friend, which is supposedly my uncle. And um, you know, I, I was in there for a while. I was, I was in there for some years. I started boxing in jail. I came home, I started fighting, and, and now it's like this, you know, so, a long story to a short story, you know, everything happened for a reason, I don't regret nothing that happened, I don't regret nothing that I did, you know, God brought me through this for a reason, and now I'm changing lives, making ways for people, I'm being able to, people being able to relate, relate to me a lot, because a lot of people try to talk to people, or parents are trying to talk to their kids, and they can't relate, because they're not in the streets, they ain't been through, you know, what the kids going through. They don't understand. But me, on the other hand, I didn't been through it all. Just coming from New Orleans, you know, it's it's a different lifestyle, you know. And I didn't I didn't just been through everything, you know. And I ain't let nothing break me. I still managed to become successful, you know. If you wouldn't, if I wasn't strong, because that was only my first offense. They tried to give me 60 years at 15 years old, you know. So just being mentally and physically strong, you have to be. But you're not gonna give up, be able to get over that hump. You're not gonna be able to take advantage of your opportunities. You know, I did one thing and it could have cost me my whole life. You know, but there is a God, you know, so everything, I live my life by like everything happened for a reason. You know, by me living my life like that, it put me in the situation that I'm in. It's it's all about a mental, uh, your, your, your mental. Um, boxing is, it's, it's really not, it's like, to me, it's like 70% mental. You know, cause it's, it's like a chess game. You know, you set you setting up everything. You gotta understand his movement. You know, you gotta understand his his hand eye coordination. His, his mentally, you gotta be mentally strong to be a boxer. The smartest people are boxers. You know, I mean, I'm a defensive fighter. I don't like getting hit for shit. I mean, I, I don't I don't like getting hit. You know, so defense is everything to me. Cause if a person missing, it frustrates you. You know, so my last fight, a guy was doing a lot of offense. I fought on TV for my last fight. It was my first time fighting on TV in Las Vegas. And he was doing a lot of offense. I was fighting a Hispanic guy, and that's how they fight, you know. And um, he was missing, you know, so he was getting tired. You know, so defense is everything. My defense is my offense. My offense is my defense. You know, so it, 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 it goes with each other. And to be honest, to be honest, man. Just being, um, just being on TV, you know, I was nervous, I was nervous, I, people, a lot of people don't think I fought nervous, but I did, I cried, you know, because when, when you're in the back, and you're looking at the TV screen, they, they tell you, they, you know, tell you the upcoming fight, but when I seen my name up there in my picture versus him, I was like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying, like, I didn't make it to this stage, and I just was locked up like nine years ago. Like my whole teenage years, I never thought I'm in jail the whole time. So it's a lot I didn't experience, you know what I'm saying? Like and to be at this point now, I'm really giving people hope. Like I feel like I'm the new hope. I'm young, but I'm the new hope for people that have been through their trials and tribulations, that have been in jail, that got felonies. And you know, I, I feel like I'm their hope. I'm the, I'm who they, they I'm their go to guy. You know what I'm saying? Like if he did it, I know I can do it. You know? Football, I was a, uh, actually I was a top football player out here, you know, because I came out here after the hurricane, and uh, I played for Klein Forest. My ninth grade, I got not locked up my ninth grade year, and I started running back, you know, so my daddy getting murdered changed my whole life, 
Cause I was never that type of kid You know what I'm saying But when that happened Like my daddy went in my life the whole time in New Orleans So for him to come out here And want to be in my life for just one year He was only in my life for one year And he took him away like that Like that's just It just took me for a spin You know what I'm saying And like I say everything happens for a reason You know the Houston boxing scene is different. Like in New Orleans, it ain't really got no, ain't really got no champs. They don't really got no, no none of that. They trying to start building it up now, you know. But Houston is where's that? Houston is like Vegas. Houston is like Cali. Like they just sleeping on us out here, you know. I started in Houston, so I mean we got a lot of undefeated fighters, a lot of great fighters, like Trouble, me. Regis Progress, o- Oshaki Foster, you know, Quentin Randall. It's, it's, it's a lot of great fighters here, you know, but just starting off into their career. Like, I just, I'm just, people just starting to know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fighting on TV. You know, as I progress, a couple more fights, the world should know who I am, you know? Fireworks. And it ain't even, you know, it ain't the 4th of July yet, you know, but fireworks, man. I always, I always put on a show. I'm always entertaining. And they, they got a, the one thousand dollar knockout prize. I didn't got it twice, you know. So y'all probably gonna see a knockout, you know, June first, you know. And I'm I'm always entertaining. That's that's one thing about me, man. I like dancing in the ring. I like having fun. I I, I do it all in the ring, you know. So I, I'm a I'm I'm not a boxer. I'm an entertainer. It's a crazy feeling, cause the the feeling that I get from that, uh, you get knocked out. You knocking somebody out. You're actually. Sending a, a, a signal to their brain that they about to die. That's what a knockout is. So if you got the if you got the power in your hand to actually put a guy down, that's just that's just God given. Everybody can't have that power. You know, everybody can't lift weights and get that type of power. It just it just got to be given to you. And my nickname is Hands of Stone. Like I I hit, I hit hard with both hands. Either hand can knock you out. You know, so it's just God given. You know, I I still eat kind of you know messed up. But I work hard as shit, you know. But I still kind of eat like, you know, not look. I don't eat bad, but at least one time out of the week, I gotta get me a burger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I gotta, I gotta get me a burger. I, 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 I just gotta get me a burger. But I'm mainly, I mainly eat like grilled fish, grilled chicken, a lot of veggies, gallon of water a day, you know. But I, I love to eat. Every boxer do when you in, when you in this type of profession, man. Like he said, when you see food, it's like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not used to eating none of that. Like, this is my fifth fight. This is my fifth fight in like four months. I've been fighting back to back. So I've been having to stay in shape and eat the right stuff for four months. You know what I'm saying? And that's like, I'm like, after this, I need to take a break. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like, damn. Like, I. But I'm, you know, staying consistent. That's what boxing is all about. That's what anything you do is all what is all about. Patience, staying consistent, believing in God and faith. I really believe that. And sacrifice is the main thing. You have to sacrifice to put yourself in a position to take care of your opportunities. You know, and that's what you got to do to, you know, to be successful. This New Orleans. This probably gonna always be New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Like the food different. It's, it's we a di- different culture. You know what I'm saying? Like we got different types of food. You know, we got gumbo, hot sausages. Like it's a lot of you know shrimp po' boys. Like it's it's just different. Like I gotta go. I I go out there just to get me a, a shrimp po' boy, and it's like man, you can get one out here, but it ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? Out here it's like burgers, barbecue. Like it's it's great out here. You know what I'm saying? But out there it's a lot of spicy food, crawfish. You know like. You know, crab cake, all, all that. It's different out, you know. It ain't got that type of stuff. They, they got it out here, but it ain't seasoning like that. Man, I train like, I actually, I just, I just got a different, a, a new trainer. I'm training with Ronnie Shields now. So I actually train, train with uh, one of the Charlo brothers, uh, Jamal Charlo now. And um, I train with him, and I train with uh, Rigandal. There's a couple top fighters that's up there right now, and um. Training is great leading up to the fight. You know, this is my first, this is my first training that I, I actually feel like I've been a, I've been a, a, a real priority because I'm, I'm actually starting to get up there now. You know, and it, I gotta, it, it gotta be focused on me. Uh, you know, when it's fight time, like I, I gotta be a focus on. You know what I'm saying? I can't just be like overlooked. Like it's, it's time for me to actually step up now. You know, so it gotta be up there. You know, up there meaning like. Every I gotta put everything into this, you know. Like my coach got to put everything into me, 
and you know, it, it, it's, it's time. Like, it's literally time. Because I haven't fought on TV now. You know what I'm saying? So, it ain't like I'm just a regular dude. You know? It's really up there. Like, that's that's my logo. I mean, that's my slogan. Like, it's really up there. Like, I really feel high right now, you know? And, I, and I'm a main event. This is my second main event fight. You know, and that, that mean a lot. You know, because I... I went from fighting, you know, it, you being a main event in the beginning of the fight, that's like, you work, you got to work towards that. You know, you becoming that first, you might be the first fight coming up, it's like, man, when I'm going to be a main event, that means a lot, you know, because it's you, when they look at them cards, and they, they see they see see you on there, or they see the fighters, that's you on the front of that, you know what I'm saying, it's like, man, this this my show, so I got to perform, I got to entertain, I got I to gotta handle my business. Man, I just, y'all just come to the show. Force train promotions, next fight up at the Arabian Strong Center, June 1st. I mean, it's up there, and it's stuck there, literally, man. Not taking no L's. It's going to be a good show, and we bringing boxing back to Houston. You know, we the top promoter promotion right now for us dealing with boxing, you know. So if you want to see a great show, if you want to be entertained, get your popcorn. My Instagram is I am Hands of Stone, and my, uh, my Facebook is Jericho Hands of Stone Walton. Get your popcorn, come get entertained, and it is up there. Yeah, yeah. We can fix that. We come kick the dough at your kickback. Shoot at you and your bro till we click clack. Then go fuck on your over some get back. Man, fuck all that talking, my nigga. Let's link. Let's link. Bring your bitch ass up the street. Bring your bitch ass up the street. Yeah. Bring your bitch ass up the street. Drop your little.